it is Wakanda after all, so need a little African. Album. Wakanda. Yeah, yeah. me and Bernie, Bernie Bongo. We got the intro. Land really. of my people. <laughs> Bernie Bongos, man. Your people are fish, you know? Yeah, the my duh. Lot of my people. Oh, wait. <laughs> the girl's yeah. talking. Wait. <laughs> uh, quota ever present <laughs> to what's going on around here. I'm not oh. observational. You're, you're not observational? Wakanda. I feel like even poor right now. <laughs> I, I feel like the, the map on the road. Who's who's be beating drum for money? <laughs> that was there right now. Somebody, as a man, they run up. Wait, which man? Money? Yeah, there's a man right. who's walked through uh, that hotel. It's quite some, yeah. Uh huh. Who's beat? He got the old thing drum. Alrighty. So it's, it's your turn to do the intro, Shmire. My turn to do the intro. Yeah. Hi. Look like you got talking in the microphone quarter. Oh. Talking in the microphone quarter. How are you gonna start this podcast? What are you With Ramire beating his bongo drums, apparently. Yeah, 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 posse, yeah, posse, yeah, we here today, we here today, welcome to the Pop Down Podcast, brought to you by Zeitgeist Entertainment, we are going to welcome everyone here today, including the drum in the background, say hello, um, I, you, you call yourself K, right? We could just, you can just use your real name, it's fine. Okay, real name, say your name. Kota. Kota, we, we have on the bongos in the background. Romario or Giovanni. Uh, we have our, our resident Wakanda is Kofi. Or Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Live and direct, yes. On the podcast for the first time. Yeah. Yes. So today we're going to review Black Panther, brought to you by Marvel Entertainment, our Marvel Studios. And Marvel Disney. Studios. Don't forget Disney. Marvel Studios. Well, I'll, and I'll see them the mouse house. Praise be to our eventual overlords, Disney. The most house. I, I will never buy. I, I'm not sure if it's Disney or Google that will own my life. I, I feel Google. like Disney's gonna own no. all of like, Tesla will own my life. Google will, will own Tesla like, all will own tech. Tesla, own tech. Own <laughs> Tesla is. You can't compare Tesla to Google or Disney. No, no, no. Google won't cover the world. Tesla won't cover this side of the universe. So I never touch <laughs> So I, I go to I think Elon Musk just bored one of these days. He's gonna find entertainment and just stop. Nah, the man got aspirations. So he does he? He has aspirations. He he his belief is that we can invest in grabbing asteroids in the middle of nowhere to bring them back here and basically sell stuff. So he wants to get the vibranium. Um, yeah, yeah. Crazy that's what he about. No, he, he, <laughs> he, he, into some he this movie. This this movie is a retail of actual events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, it just, <laughs> anyway, right. It's saying the distant present. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So we're gonna review this movie today. And okay, so we'll start with the general thoughts. Go ahead, Coda. What are your general thoughts of the movie? I think it was really good. Okay, right. So, <laughs> hey, what are your general thoughts of the movie? Um, I don't know if I seen this because it's coming off of the hype, but it's the best Marvel movie I saw. Wait, yeah. how how many of the Marvel movies have you seen? Majority, the vast majority. I haven't seen any of the Hulks. The, we don't call them. Those are missing. <laughs> That's I'm not watching them. That was on purpose. I haven't <laughs> seen the third um, Thor, Doctor Strange. <gasps> yeah, I don't know why I didn't watch Doctor Strange nor Guardians two. Well, you missed never Guardians too. Really? That's, yeah, that's, it, it was a, it was a damn thing. That's disappointing. Yeah. But I I need to watch all and in the chronological order before um, Infinity War. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, do yeah, we yeah. need to? What yes. about you? What about you, Amari? What do you think of the movie? I thought the I thought the movie was a good film. Mm-hmm. I don't just don't like the hype around the movie. Okay, I understand this. I'm nodding. You can't hear me nodding, but I'm nodding. <laughs> um, me personally, I, I, I myself enjoyed the movie. I won't say it's the best movie ever made by man, but it was an enjoyable experience. I didn't hate myself for watching it, so yeah. So right now we're going to go into spoilers because you really can't talk with movie about spoiling it. So, really? what were the best parts of the movie for you? Let me start for Kota, it's Michael B. Jordan. Well, surprisingly, he was not my favorite part. Oh. Although when he took off his shirt, I, like, I was watching it with somebody, I grabbed the hair and was like, you should. I hope you didn't watch it with a man. I was watching with a man. Cause I don't know, I would have thought you saw wait, her. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You went, you went saw her with a man. I, 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 I don't call Don Jerry by this. But I would have you saw her. <laughs> yeah, what? A hard slap, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, but my favorite person, at least, was Okoye. I think that's generally the, the, the consensus. What I'm bad with he, names. What's on the Okoye? Okoye was the general of the Dora Malaje. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. But, but like, from what I've been seeing online, most people, their favorite person was Shuri, not Okoye. Yeah, which is his sister. Yeah. My favorite was actually Killmonger. That was 
one of the hardest villains I see in a long time. Mm-hmm. I I also I always felt like Marvel villains were kind of like Loki or anybody else because I don't know any. Right, I legit can't think about L-O-K-I any other. L O K I or L O W K E Y. Pardon me. Loki the Loki the villain. Okay. That was either him or what other Marvel villain? Our other one. Cruel face. But he was not in a movie as yet. Oh, I mean, right, M- Mar- I mean, the MCU universe, mm. MCU universe. In the MCU, yeah, there's Loki and everybody else doesn't matter. Well, I, I like well, crap. What was his name now? I, I actually legit. He's not memorable there. No, from um, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Vulture? Tombs. Yeah. True. Because he he was one of the few Marvel villains that had like an understandable yeah, motivation, not an actual motivation. In fact, yeah, I remember his name says a lot too. Yeah. I do think that um that. Killmonger in this film was a very relatable uh, uh, antagonist. Yeah, that was another thing too. Like. And the way that they, they presented him in the film and his rationale was perfectly done Yeah, in this film. Yeah. Really good story. And the was just so cool. He like, was. By the time he hit the screen, he had a swagger. Like, he had a swagger. When the man looked at uh, the mask and was like, nah, I'm just feeling this. I was like, yeah, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> you are no one here. What is a T'Challa? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have some Razor Blaze here and we'll start. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I killed an ant this morning. That made me cry. That's <laughs> not. What about you? Me, um, my favorite was probably his sister as well because she was fun. She knew what she was talking about. She was witty. She would curse. So yeah. That yeah, right. I just started the film. Getting on his finger film. beat right. I exactly. Fun. So yeah. she, she was actually fun. She gave but, the finger. But to the, the moment that made Okoye my favorite was when. Um, at the big fight at the end when Wakabi asked her if she would kill him um, for Wakanda she was like without question that was that was the moment that, that made her hype. my favorite person in the that whole was, movie that was rather hype issue even though she didn't help rescue the black man but anyway um, <laughs> you gotta be real specific and true <laughs> the, 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 the important black man oh okay also, <laughs> the head black man also M'Baku if in Black Panther 2 she has not divorced Wakabi and married M'Baku something wrong wait I'm not even sure if Wakabi's gonna be next <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why he would be I don't know for some reason why she like stepped in front of um, M'Baku and just like just like his personality and her personality I can just see them that's mm-hmm. my that's my Black Panther ship coming out of it I, I don't even care about Nikki and, and T'Challa <laughs> And back when, and okay, Ma, and I, that's one uh, kind of gripe I had about this movie. It wasn't major, but it's like I didn't really feel like or care about T'Challa. Like when T'Challa died, I'm putting that quotes, died, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But please show me more Killmonger. Like <laughs> he, he really stole the show. Like to the point that T'Challa was just, I, I guess it's supposed to like you as you're the main character. Mm-hmm. Uh, T'Challa was really low key, L O W K E Y, which I guess, I guess was kind of always his character even in in civil war but i feel like um black panther was less about t'challa and more about wakanda yeah. and mm. the people of wakanda which i guess was kind of smart because the average like everyone knows batman superman everyone knows their character but no one knows anything the, the average joe knows nothing about wakanda no not true really. Um, so, but you were saying that that uh, Killmonger was more memorable. You think we have a case here of, uh, of Joker? Yeah, no. Dark Knight. Uh, Dark Knight. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't no. think so. He's not as iconic. No. I mean, the Joker himself. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker himself by itself, outside of the um, DCU, mm-hmm. is a very memorable character. Everyone loves the Joker before yeah. the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Killmonger was. This is a cool guy, and then he died. So I think he died in the movie. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, what he said. I saw a lot of people um, trying to compare. I, I was uh, like, "Where's the comparison exactly?" They both. Crazy. The Joker was the driving force behind the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kill Margot was not driving force movie. Driving force movie is because his father was his father. Yeah. Kill a man, left your child there for some reason, and that's what we. Which I mean, be. I mean, I was kind of upset with that. Yeah, me that, too. You were like upset it? that he left a child alive. No, that he left the there, child alone. just there, oh. me. <laughs> is uh, did he not know? I was I wanted to watch it over before the podcast went yeah, out. Because, did he not know? Because that? I thought he didn't know that Eric existed. So I was like, oh, okay. No, he knew. So like, he knew. And, and did you not expect? Did, did you not think that by chance this man will come and start and like, you know try to shake up things a bit eventually? I don't know, but he but but because of like how he he handled um claw, 
because what caught me did say that for 30 years and claw probably real old for it having 30 years ago now that i think about it but like for 30 years claw was out there and he never did anything claw so real old. yeah yeah. <laughs> do they so, age? He was that age when he um Do they age? Wakanda? Mm-hmm. No, Claus wasn't Wakanda. He's Claus was man. Andy Circus. Oh right. Right. So Fuck way, man. I think his his I think how T'Chaka handled things, he just he didn't handle oh, yeah, yeah. things for like okay, in case in the future this happens, he just handled things as they happened. What's your thing? You're you're a king. That was kinda dumb. Bad leadership. Yeah. Bad leadership. Man, so, what didn't we like about the movie, other than those things? Well, Killmonger was in, a, was in it a lot less than I thought he would be. He would disappear for like half the movie. He was in the beginning of the movie, like and then he a, disappeared for like an hour. The thing is, they set him up like he, in the beginning of the movie. He was okay. Well, clearly, this man plays a role. And then there was a period of time where I thought he was some sort of um, what to describe it like a, a um, supporting slack, character. Yeah, yeah. like a slacky for crow for claw. Which didn't really make any sense because I mean the man is the second person on the poster. Yeah, he see. is large. The yeah. class pretty small, so I guess that was my, really and truly that was my only giveaway that he really wasn't that important to his story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he was more important. Until I was surprised he died. got shot. I was like, okay, shoot, boy. I, I think they could have left him alive. Wait, but but he he is not a sorry character who would want to live anyway. At no point in the movie. He his did it seem like his goal was to live forever. He just wanted to blow crap up because he felt that black people or what kind of people or whatever need mm-hmm. reparations. <laughs> That's what he felt. That's his. That was his goal. Claw. N- no, no, I can't go uh, kill monger. Oh, yeah. yes. It's not really reparations. He wants. He wants. He wants to be the co- colonizer now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Not today, colonizer. Not today. My major gripe had nothing to do with the movie. It was I watched the it height? at the Olympus. Yeah. And will people dress appropriately? I watched it I at 2 30 p.m. at Lime Rose Cinemas with not a full house, a, mo- a mostly adult audience. Everyone was quiet. Listen to me a minute, right? So you enjoyed Oh, that. every you said everyone was quiet. This is the real issue. So imagine you get to the Olympus, yeah, the Expo, not the baby, the Pop Dome Olympus, and it there's a blue the, the Pop Dome, <laughs> the Popper Dome. Okay, <laughs> <You> want- <laughs> and there's a blue carpet lining up to a photo booth. With African drums lining the lining the side of it, he's like, okay, this is odd, but I guess whatever. People dress up, get the opportunity, get a picture of that. Until in the movie, trailers happen, and then it happens. Drums start beating. From <laughs> wait, oh, you wait on you <laughs> opening night. On opening night. Yeah. How many minutes to talk? I was given tickets, so they had oh. two two rooms were screening on um, Black Panther, Hong yeah. Kong and London, which next to each other. So, um, Hong Kong started at 7, London started at 6.30. Mm. So I guess, when they're having their um, opening ceremony, for what, I don't know, because this is not a Beijing movie. Amen! The man, the man, had, the Amen. Whole, the man had the whole ministry there, but yeah, carry on. They're having the, o- the opening ceremony, uh, I hear... No, 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 people no, no, chanting and no, no, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah we got drums. Sorry. Give me, a little, give me a little drum roller or something. And then all of a sudden he hurts. But, but I am in a movie and like, we trying to watch the, the, the movie has started like the, you remember the beginning has subtitles yeah. which is cool because I can read so that can happen pretty much I thought that was a movie I'm beginning to realize after people started talking and I'm struggling to hear that this, this is this is live entertainment in quotes <laughs> going on and then like, I want to hear black someone had to complain because uh-huh. people are obviously keeping noise because this is popular. this is during the prologue that this was happening no, this was about 15 minutes into the movie that we heard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I heard that as well. That they had to stop the movie. That's how I stopped the movie. They may stop it, okay. but they like stopped the drum short I assume okay. because it was like clearly someone went and was like stop the fuckery. Sorry, you can curse. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can swear. We're we all don't, professionals here. We don't censor it. So uh, they stopped the nonsense and then the drums cut and it was like finally. Also sidebar, uh, my brother was in the um the the other room? Hong Kong the other room. Uh-huh. He said. You know every Marvel movie has an end credit scene. Yeah. They cut they the cut credits. The, yeah, they cut the credits. Best dress. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. yes. I had to describe to him Clearly what happened. Clearly these people don't understand how Marvel movies work. Yeah. No, they, because it's not about the movie for them. It's about... The culture. Did it, Did the best dress get something good? <laughs> the end credit scene. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Uh, yeah, but that was weird though. When I when I, when I first heard about it, because I think my editor at work had mentioned it, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. I guess they're just doing a little, you know, a little five minutes something saying, you know, blah, blah blah. But yeah, it was a whole thing. The whole, like, whole thing. Yeah, it was, it a, was whole a whole thing. thing. It was the minister talking. Then some boy from the Pan African whatever they talking as well. The man had a flyer, big man. Yeah. It was a legit I, thing. I don't understand how all of this missed me. Furthermore, I think it was me and the person I went to. A person behind me. They had, they, it was a whole like ceremony. Three, and like oh, three yeah. other people that were wearing normal European clothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I felt like, I, I don't know, the only mourner at a, at a, at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> So this, when I saw, when I saw that you could, put, I'm gonna send this to you. Could put this up. When I uh-huh. saw this, this pissed me off, B. Why? Because the Ministry of Culture booked two cinemas to show a non-Barbadian film. But whenever have they put this kind of backing behind a Barbadian any film? Any Barbadian Keep film ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever <laughs> is yeah, true. Okay. Like, this, this is has, utter bullshit. It's not gonna say like a Bayesian was in it or it was filmed a part of a film in Barbados. Yeah, but yeah, a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian, a bullshit. When has the government of Barbados ever, especially the Ministry of Culture, booked two cinemas for a Barbadian film? I, I think I'm actually right there for Barbados today. You should, right? because it doesn't make any sense. This is bullshit. That I, I, is what I, I think, it is. I think I'm right there too, though. Right? So this, so this, and the entire exercise for Black Panther has two levels of bullshit for me. <laughs> well, two separate bullshits. Well, let me not, let me not get <laughs> two, two separate yet. loads let of me bullshit. Not get two yet. separate because terms. The bullshit we, we is can't, real. We can't even really talk about the movie itself yet. Oh, we, we have it? Not really. Not really. Yeah. Call, I, I, I wrote Call, like, what else? Do you want to do serious time this, no? <laughs> yes, we went off on the time. <laughs> but we all said, well, the film itself was good. Good, great. We didn't care about that. Oh, we were talking about it. No, let me talk about it. I just I just thought of a separate great. What was that? The green screen. That was, mm-hmm. Yeah, like it was obvious there's a man in front of a green screen. Like when he went yeah. to the yeah, other side, that was yeah. like, well, like was the the, the rhinos look so fake, like a big budget Marvel yeah, movie. Like, you, you that was disappointing. Better. And then at the end fight, when they had this like close up on Killmonger's face, and you could like see down the train track in the background. First of all, I expected the train to like come off your head or something. Cause I was weird. You're, no, like, you're not afraid of something like that. We don't say like that happening. But then it, it was like so obvious that Michael B. Jordan is. In front of a green screen, was like, but, 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 Marvel, you got money. Like, what, 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 what's, what's this? What's this? I, I, the I, quality I, of film that I saw, I don't, I <laughs> don't know. Oh, you, oh. <laughs> you wouldn't realize that. No, I wouldn't have realized. But it was terrible. It was like, yeah. I've seen better anything in, in, in most things. GTA 3. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but, but speaking of the fight at the end, I, I saw um, a few um, reviews said that it, like, had a lack of action i feel like it had quite a bit no. of uh, quite a they few action sequences yeah nah. mean, um not it, really it, 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 it kind of opened up the action sequence but after the introduction with like t'chaka and his brother and everything like the first thing was black panther you think the action the and, action wasn't as like i guess we getting um accustomed to seeing like buildings destroyed and mm-hmm. pups so it wasn't yeah. like that much of a I, I spectacle was, i wouldn't already go that way. i would say that the action wasn't it wasn't intricate. It was just simple. It and was it, like, wasn't, it wasn't right, the focus right, right. of right. the film. There was never any scene except what the chair saying. Chessie wasn't really that much of a... You mean the one in Busan? Right. That wasn't even that big of a chair scene anyway. You've but there's never any point where they started one player. Play, sorry. Mm-hmm. And they kept going and kept going and kept going. Like, say, like, a, a boring thing or whatever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You think that they included that chair scene because they probably realized... Well, they may have really got that much. Like, I, talk, I got that feeling as well. Yeah, too, yeah. I was saying, like, you're in Korea for all of what? For no reason, by the way. There is no real reason to be in Korea. But that, that's the usual of these movies. They normally just go to some random Asian country. Yeah, because they don't have to appeal to the Chinese right, like, market. Like, Transformers pull out a whole you other movie. You want to play I stopped watching Transformers, so. I stopped watching Transformers. Something. Right, I stopped watching Transformers. I gave up. I stopped watching Transformers after the third one. I, I couldn't. Nah, okay, but the first one was it for me. I then. But... Speaking of the action sequences, and again, Okoye, my favorite person in this whole movie, she had my favorite action moments. The first one was when they were in the auction area and they started fighting 
and she was like just swinging around the spare and then she like jumped off the balcony and her skirt was just like fl- her dress was just like you, you forgot the like, entire part which you took off her wig didn't you I did yeah. yeah. the wig part I the wig so part like, I did forget that, that so, look at that clipping whoa well. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I did forget her throat the wig that was the blackest thing to happen in this that was so like, the wig girl even she, but, she like, hit, <laughs> but, but it's pretend she got she, she may not she hit the wig she didn't yeah like yeah and then like the part when she um got on the roof and threw the spear <laughs> and like stopped the car i'm sorry what and then when she surfed this, on the, this, the this, hood uh, of the car big man <laughs> i assure our uh viewers that we, we have all watched this movie very legally <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, there's no one who watched this um you know on some <clears throat> online no. irreputable uh questionable i watched yeah. that at full quality it's just that like, i was squinting throughout the whole movie yeah i played it first that person was as well <laughs> <laughs> um quentin do you watch it in 2d or 3d i watch it in 3d oh you enjoyed it the 3d yeah i actually can't really see 3d to begin with When's so the last i don't time know why you i watched it in 3D? 3d movie the only i never thought it could avatar be. Is that, i saw oh the my 3D. god i, I didn't see I that avatar. in 3d i didn't see 2009 that avatar with blue people. I, hate, I hate that as well. Oh, I saw a good okay. 3D trailer, which was the um, I think it was the first Captain America movie where yeah. he he threw the shield. And yeah, I was like, whoa, well, that's coming at me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, well, I actually, ducked it at, at that point. Well, actually, to be fair, when they have the the intro in the beginning with the Dolby uh, 3D thing, they yeah. have the count. No, I can see that. But when is the actual movie? I don't I, I don't see the. You all mm. pointed out to me that the Olympus is put and not all around you. Yes, that's <laughs> it's like one. all you. It's supposed to be all around you. Oh yeah. my god! When they heard that, I, I didn't was even like, know that that was supposed to be all around you. I thought it was just like some weirdly vaguely sexual. Oh, movie. y'all did like, like some <laughs> alien like, <laughs> mumbling. Put y'all didn't know that. It's supposed I, yeah. It's I didn't know that until it's supposed to be all around, around you. Yeah, I read that in the chat. Yeah, I know that. I didn't. But to be fair, I didn't. And this is where we put it in the video here. So you take a clip of it off the internet. Oh, around. And then it'll go What's around. What's supposed to sound like? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I, I didn't think the film. Oh, what, you want no other one other part? Another thing about the Olympus. Uh-huh. Go to the back of the cinemas, and you're gonna feel along the wall for some proof in the use air crates. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. I'm never going. I'm never going to try it. I'm never going to try it. I, I, I felt do not, the back I, wall. Do not, do not, do not tell me Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to do it. I refuse to believe it. Wall no, wait, touch it. I've been hearing this for years. Clearly, the sound doesn't work because Kofi could hear the drumming from the cinema next. I am in a movie theater. <laughs> but you see, right? They do that more for surgery. They do that more for some isolation rather than some proofing. Mm. But it still doesn't work anyway. Oh, not yeah. really. But yeah, I didn't think it lacked action sequences. The, 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 I, I, I can't think of anything it lacked other than T'Challa's personality. Yeah. Oh. But what I was going to say is that perhaps this is really an, a superhero film and not an action film. Should we make that separation? Maybe. But it's so hard because I mean, like any like um, modern day Batman movie is not a detective movie. Not really, no. Right. True. So like a superhero and mm-hmm. action genre kind of blending. It could have been. There was a point in time you could have fairly said that, but no, it's kind of just the same thing. They could say that about maybe Watchmen. Right. Mm-hmm. That was a. Not that was not an action movie. It was clearly superhero characters. Yeah. To me, um, Wakanda looked alive, but it didn't feel alive. No, the reason I say is because let, let's compare it to Batman. Batman, you know what Gotham is, right? Mm-hmm. Gotham has a personality. To me, when oh, okay. they were walking through the streets, I didn't feel the personality coming from Wakanda. There's never any moment where I understand you. It, you actually showed you like the little intricate, like you, even when they walked through the market, they already like pan to anyone who's like selling anything in particular. You didn't really hear anyone. You know, I just remember the other good thing about this movie. Yeah. When they first show Mokanda, there is an extra that is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, woman. Hey, that Kobe. Yes. But, yeah, I understand what you mean about the streets of Wakanda. They showed it, like, um, before the hologram or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, okay, cool, it's an African village. And mm-hmm. then they show, like, this beautiful thing. And it's like, yeah. that's it. That's it, right. It, it never really got any, you know, semblance of what's actually going on. Yeah. And, like, even... Even though there was technically a civil war going on in Wakanda, really and truly, the citizens, I don't think they ever realized. It didn't seem like it right. the, the yeah, city, yeah. Yeah. Which, that should not be the case. They didn't. They, they right. had, Their king just got killed. Um, and, like, yeah. there was nothing. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, the girl, a friend of mine that I went with, um, she pointed out something. She was a she was a bigger Killonger fan than me. She was upset. Because it's Michael B. Jordan. No, <laughs> I, I, get her, I get her play, though. Like, Michael B. Jordan... She, okay, she he fairly defeated. I I won't say kill, 
he fairly defeated T'Challa. Spoiler. We, I think we, we, we already established I think we said so much. Spoilers, if yeah. he fairly defeated um, T'Challa, T'Challa was in the coma and then he was brought back. So people automatically, okay, you didn't kill the king, you are not the king. Yeah. Really? Well, the really, rules, the rules are you either, you either you win you by yield or you are not dying. I don't, he didn't yield and he didn't die. I don't understand why some people were saying, okay, well, I, I, you are not the king. I don't understand why people are like, let's fight for T'Challa. We're not sure that fight should continue. I, every, everything should have gone on a pause and then they should have fight. Yeah, but he, Kilmar, didn't want to fight. Yeah, Kilmar was said like, he's the, king. it's over. It's Samuel over. over he's burning all these plants yeah. and everything. Yeah. So he was like, it's over. Yeah. So yeah, that's why. But yeah, anything but, else you want to say about this movie? I like the music. How about the movie? The, the, the soundtrack was the, amazing. The costume design, the costume design too. Everything. I actually know yeah, the the hairstylist for the movie actually made all the actors go there with their natural hair. She basically told them, don't touch your hair. Just come with it. However, it Are is. you trying to tell me that that roundup was not done by a professional? <laughs> they, I, I, the barbers in this movie, I was, I was no. looking at the credits to see like barber, like no. somebody from no. town. No, when they got there, it's somebody from town. <laughs> <laughs> when they got there, the hair started oh, the barbers. Oh, because said, but look, they had to come there with their action doctors. So you can't straighten yeah. your hair. Look at this. Look at Tashala. Right. Like that man is clean. Right. So <laughs> all these hairstyles, all oh, that's actually there. You know that hair are actual real hair. That's but, something I always wondered about, like black actors. Actresses. Like, because you know, a lot of black actresses have like the straightened hair yeah. and the yeah, yeah. and everything. So I always wondered, like, so when they get a role, when they have to play a character with natural hair, what do they do? I don't know. Can't get that. Because, that's all, that's all I mean, it, it will take like a year to transition your hair. Even then, it can be like it only so long. So, like, what are you going to do? There, there was a I scene. guess it's not. I guess it was more done for authenticity thing than a, yeah, than yeah. a look thing. Because I saw um, uh, interview with Lupita on Trevor Noah's show, and she was saying he told her that someone pointed out to him that none of the women in it have straightened hair. Although I did say she was straightened hair, that none of the women in it have straightened hair. And Lupita said that that was because they were never colonized, so they never had that like societal thing. That black hair is unkempt and untidy and unprofessional, and you know you need to straighten your hair to get a job and yada yada yada. So they would have just always kept their hair natural and done their hair how they always did so it as African. Ethiopia people. was never colonized as well. Trying to tell me no one in Ethiopia has straightened hair. <coughs> well, I mean, it's uh, Ethiopia. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There, and there's, there's a term. Yeah. There's, but, a, but, um, there's a term for that. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like imperialism, but it comes from um, geographic location. Yeah. So like. Really, truly, Wakanda doesn't have tourists, right? All like Ethiopia, yeah. who um, people can come to Ethiopia, right? So can... they never got any vision of like what the all they were exactly. Is. Yeah, so. they're, just, they're just although the fact that Shuri referenced Dam Daniel like tells me that they, they, the they, yeah, that they stuff. have access to the internet. Which so I kind of like, agree. And, yeah. and her father liked uh, Back to the Future, yeah, yeah, right. So they, they they're not as isolated as as we would like to think. But again, yeah. if we had a view of the actual residents of Wakanda, then we would be able to answer this correctly. We would be able to say, okay, uh, clearly we saw actually, three children in the streets. Exactly, so, three children. But three perhaps kids. perhaps that point of view is not necessary. For example, when we watch Shakespeare, um, we, we are seeing the upper, when we see Shakespeare, we see the upper classes. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily see how what the other classes are doing is affecting yeah, but we, we see how they treat their slaves well made this play out there <laughs> oh well yes right. uh, well, yes I could agree you do see Wait. that spectrum in the in their in their place speaking of slaves I did not expect this movie to go so to actually acknowledge slavery why would it sure it would have seen because it's a Marvel movie yeah but, Mar and it's, but I, I, I but, really did okay, not expect look, look it at to. the Netflix stuff that Marvel has they, they acknowledge that slavery and you know white people being white people is a thing well yeah, and right. and it, and it like really went into it, and especially me, if like it would have been really awkward in this movie if they never acknowledged that same thing because yeah. they knew what happened on the other side yes. of the same continent. It would be very weird. But I mean, if even Killmonger, he raised it like what slavery was happening, and they Wakanda never did anything about right. it. Yeah, because they knew. Right, and then Which like is, him at the end saying that um, bury me in the ocean with my ancestors who thought it was better to die than to, to be, be a, to be in bondage. In bondage, yeah. yes. Because like, they're not a fan of finishing the, the Yeah, they they like really went and like 
that same thing about like how Wakanda has all this wealth and all these resources and they like sat around and did nothing which while made his character so much more relatable far yeah. more endearing and that's like <clears throat> it was very because I think like that before really added he brought it up I never thought him. about that mm-hmm. I never thought about that before he brought it up and it's a really good point I mean if Wakanda at least in the MCU if Wakanda had intervened the slavery problem would have never happened but then you know I like you what now would try to evade them even harder because then got all this advantage. I like technology. that you said at least in the MCU, like it would happen in real. <laughs> <laughs> like oh Wakanda would have just come out of Wakanda. nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, I have zero problems with the. I don't really have any much problems with the movie. My problem with the entire movie was the hype around it. I don't know what did you like about it. It was a problem it. being. I, I, well, well, I said, I'm trying to find to, the way to articulate it. But I said it several times. It's hypocritical Good and superficial. You mean, sorry, you mean the local hype or the international No, the international hype. That is a worldwide thing. It, it is worldwide. I think it is worldwide. But I mean, like, here. But here, here it's the same as well. As, I, I, think I, it's, I personally don't have any problem with it. The reason is because, let's be honest, uh, but people have been hyping their movies from the dark time. Okay. Like, Fifty of Grey, I mean, Twilight, the list goes on. So if black people want to hide their movie, let right, right, their right, movie. No, and it does it does go hard into like but the no one hides Twilight for right. Twilight so. culture. Hmm? No one hides Hogwarts for white culture. But it's being hyped for black, black culture. culture. And it's like This is not black my, culture. What people think that we're in, people but think, it is it is part of black culture. The, Oh, oh, say, a fictional, African. a fictional okay, African country okay. cannot be a part of anyone's okay. culture. It's a made-up well, country. Yes, okay, but the okay. rituals and practices and the, the right. costuming and the structure of the society and, and all that is influenced by real African This guy, with the, this guy African cultures. with the plate in his mouth. All this yeah. is part of us African okay, people. Right. The scarification. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Or it can be right. seen as a caricature of African culture. It can play on any angle. There's a difference between caricature and celebration. Yeah, and it's it celebration. is how respectful they, they you were are speaking in the of it. Swahili. Oh, Swahili in this whole movie. Yeah. So it's good, yeah. Alright, so I don't know if y'all heard, but some, they were saying some people that were the shakies to the movie or what's not, they said mm-hmm. that's cosplaying. What do y'all feel about that? Ooh, that's that, interesting. That's very interesting. That could be any well, single movie. Well, seeing as they didn't wear a specific character's oh, outfit, true. I wouldn't no, call that's it cosplay. Point. That is literally... When, when if you wear a uh, dashiki or any African friend to mm-hmm. watch this movie and you call it cosplay, and you kind of defeating the purpose of yeah. the movie. That's yeah. very yeah. interesting. I because, didn't know anyone was singing. Yeah, it for I, that you could read it. it. There are like, articles written on it. Be. But to me, it's like, how, how is it called? Co- it's not cosplay. It's not cosplay. a costume. You... I can go to a doctor's office right. and it's shaky. If I go to popular in a Star Trooper suit. Yeah. <laughs> mask, the gun, you know, I might the boots, probably get, you know, beat, arrested, uh, beat yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so it's like, well, the thing about it this way, I can cosplay as a doctor mm-hmm. at Anime Con. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cosplay? Is it cosplay? Well, Cord is the expert on cosplay, so she should be telling us. Ish. I like, yeah, if I dress I as a say- doctor or if I dress as a fireman, is that yes, cosplay? but yeah, you cosplay. you can be dressed in African, but you can't, African you garb. Can't you can be dressed in African normally. A culture, but you can't cosplay right. a culture. Exactly. I might think if you want to be proud, if you are proud, this movie come out and you like, yeah, I feel empowered and you wear the shiki today. Wear the shiki tomorrow. Wear it some, that. Some cost, like if you if you're proud, be proud. Yeah. Every not be proud like for a premiere of a movie. And yeah. Then, like, to be so fair, I, to be fair, I in the last like, couple of years, I'll say probably last ten years, mm-hmm. videos have been wearing things. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not right, just saying like, like Afri- African. I'm sorry, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sorry. <laughs> I, I, see, I, I saw something in the paper written by I think David like today's paper. I can't remember if it was Nation or Advocate. I think it was written by Advocate. David Kamen Shang, <laughs> my grandfather, by school. Who's the Advocate? Anyway, <laughs> and. I saw it referred to as African Awareness Month in this article. I've like, never heard Black History Month called African Awareness Month, but if you want to call it that to satisfy the white people that ask it for White History Month, okay, fine. But I forgot what I was going to say. You know what White History Month is? Thanksgiving. That's what it is. <laughs> that's what White History Month, month, is, month 11, is every month of the year. 11 days of the year. Yeah, yeah. 11 months of the year. Yeah, that's what no, 11 was, days, 11 months I, of I the year. I like, I like, <laughs> I saw a lot of arguments online for like, obviously, no offense to the white people in our audience, but white people in America are all be real saying, why are people celebrating this movie and you don't, you don't see us celebrating our movies? No, like well, that's you right. have you, movies. Exactly. You have all of the movies. You see yourselves like, and your culture uh, represented all the time. Our right? black movies are Medea. Medea. <laughs> <laughs> Medea. We're afraid Makira goes to Wakanda. <laughs> 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 that's 
that's a hilarious. Listen, that movie that's is going hilarious. to happen. People I'm keep telling you, joking I'm about telling you, it's, it's going to happen. happen. <laughs> really? And it's going to be so bad. Tell the Perry, tell the Perry that doesn't spend money on his own movies, gonna pay for the rights to use Wakanda. Come on, let's not Wakanda. Go to Africa. Some random part of Africa. Go to Africa. Trust me. Kadawa. Trust me. Yeah, I just thought like this doesn't bring seeing the success of this movie is already making a huge profit. I think it's that's it's about seven hundred million though. Which yeah. is crazy. This is probably yeah. going to go a billion sh- in it's the fastest time. It's gonna hit billion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But I hope this doesn't bring another wave of black exploitation. I was going to wonder if that's what you're going to say. But the thing After... about black exploitation films are that they're not. The, the title suggests it, but they're not films that exploit black people in black culture. They're made by black people. For black no, people, no, uh, join yes. black people as the heroes of their own stories. After a while, it wasn't shot. Though after a while, it was just white people saying, "Yeah, this is money. Let me just hire people to star as black people." Yeah, but people, but, but to be fair, black people normally see like what that is, and now we just don't turn up anywhere, so it's fine. Uh, are you I, sure I, about I, that? I hope, yeah, I hope what this that what this does is it just pushes more. Um, not just black people, people of lesser. You know, minorities, minorities, in, in, into into so Hollywood, and they, right? Break the so trend Latino, of films Latino of black right. Let, let the same <laughs> hold the Peter Yuanga. She is a Oscar nominee or winner nominee. I, I think nominee. I don't know if she's right. one. She's an Oscar nominee, but she's still finding hard to get a job. Yeah, which is weird. She's great as an actress. I've yeah. seen her in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I agree. And she's still finding hard to get a job. But because she's because Spencer, one, she's black, and two, she's a dark skinned black o- person. Octavia Spencer finding hard to get a job. What? Octavia, Octavia Spencer finding yeah. hard, okay. hard to get a job. I mean, yes, yeah, she's in everything. Job. Not just a paycheck. I talk about your yes. proper. A role in which she's not a, right. a slave or, or a maid some sort of assistant yeah, or some cool other figure. For them to like, you know, play a character. Yeah, right. And not stereotype. Right. Yeah. But they mostly play stereotypes. That's their problem. Yeah. But you can't see it here, but this green screen was so much jobby. We can't see it here. We <laughs> <laughs> can't see it here. Yeah, you well, can't see it here. Well, to be fair, this beer. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what he used to record. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I don't even know what he used to say. What's going on? To save screen. this, yeah. Yes. Like we're, we're we're currently seeing a preview, and our money is at saying twelve p. Twelve. Oh my god, that's that's like two more than I've given it. This is negative zero point one k. Oh my god. <laughs> this type of Olympus. <laughs> oh my. But I hope this movie like breaks the trend of any film of black black people being about slavery or the Civil War era. But it will it cause you know what's gonna happen though? More um Warner Brothers is gonna go through the DC catalog and be like, alright, start it short movie coming up. But yeah. to be fair, their plan is such a, a long time ago. Oh, yeah, that, was, long that was real. Time ago. Yeah. Like, I, was, I was making that. Yeah, okay, well, I can be. I didn't John even know that Shot movie was on the. Was on I would the love to see John Stewart. Me too. Laughter. We would love Me because too. in our Whatever mind, in our mind, it's going to be great until we think, uh, okay, what well, good um, DC movies have there been? Okay. To be fair, Batman. <laughs> Batman. And Batman. a half of the other Batman. I'm a Batman <laughs> fan, so we can't say anything. Yeah. Right, so like, like but I'm, I, I personally like Justice League. I know what y'all. It was that fun. Was, I didn't. Was, I didn't like something. it because I know what DC comics can do. Thank you. So I know what they can. I have painful. seen DC and animation. DC animation. I have yes. seen it. Oh you know gosh. what kills me about the most about Justice League is that Cyborg was in that movie. I have no problem with Cyborg. My problem is I forgot. So I, the other day I was telling people who was in. Uh, we were having a conversation about mm-hmm. it. And I was telling people who was in the movie who I like. And I was like, they got somebody else, man. Yeah. I had to look at the post and be like, oh, when yeah, we did Cyborg our podcast about movie. Justice League, we forgot about him too. Which but is did, insane. Yeah. Because that's just. Mm. It's just. like, But well, we won't get a Warner Brothers now, but I, I would keep saying it until they do it right. It is very weird that Warner Brothers can come from having their animation side, their gaming side, but can't Mega, get the like, Even like, their TV division right. is it's so weird. Even though I think the Arrowverse is. It's shite. so weird. Arrow and Flash is crap. But it's still so. It's, but it's better very, than Marvel's very like weird. TV series. It's it. No, a, a I like Agents make, of Shield and the Netflix Marvel, shows better than the Arrowverse. You do? Yeah. I don't watch either because Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield started off, off away and then it just. Agents of Shield started off. I was like, okay, I done with this. It's, yeah. it's, it started off really bad, but it got better in like the second. If you want to watch good, you gotta want, watch a lot of it. If you want to that's our tar- that's our tar- that people put on the substrate. If you want to watch, just watch a whole season. Comment book, comment book. Thing, um, series watch Gotham Gotham's awesome yeah I, I used to watch I, Gotham is awesome I stopped watching Gotham yeah, when it got to um, no no super, not superstitious like no, supernatural no, trust supernatural me. when it got supernatural to Gotham. I, Gotham, I didn't like it Gotham to me is getting to the point where DC animation was back in the 80s you see like, when really? Fish it's like woke point. up in that uh, right. uh, not like because, asylum with right. that do- like, I, I didn't quite because that. I, the I, thing I, is yeah. 
the writers behind Gotham now are just like, you know what? We can get cancelled at any time. So, fuck it. We are gonna write what we want, right? We're not gonna like draw this whole long ridiculous story. Mm. No, no, we're gonna get to the point. Do you want to see these characters? Do you want to see the interesting stories? We're getting to this point, and that's what Gotham is doing. Cause Gotham, for like, the last two seasons, it was rumored that it's gonna be canceled, and then like the last episode, of the previous season, it was like this get canceled. Cause it's real good, and then like three weeks after, it get renewed. So, oh, so yeah. yeah, trust me, pick up Gotham. Anyway, Mata, uh, the Mata, uh, the Mata, uh, the yes, hype behind Black right. Panther. So, generally speaking, we enjoy this movie and have yeah. great and stuff. We're just soldiers, still my it favorite Marvel ver- movie. I am hearing that. Me too. And I, I need, I clearly need to watch over Winter Soldier because because a lot we, of people are saying that. Winter Soldier. Uh, uh, go ahead. But but you see the thing I love about Winter Soldier is the same thing I can say about Black Panther, which is it's a tightly constructed film. Mm. Right. It has no loose and ends, Winter no Soldier unnecessary Soldier nothing. Did the same thing that Batman movies are known for. It sure it has a comic book character, mm-hmm. it has a comic book world. But that is not the point of the movie. Yes. But it is tell a solid story yes. that is interesting. And that's what Minnesota did. It was interesting. It was intriguing. It had good and it had no stupid humor for no damn good reason. Yeah. It was it was a great movie. But I still like Winter Soldier more because I don't like when, when I finished Winter Soldier. I, I, watch it I was on an emotional high at the end of Winter Soldier. I was not on an emotional high at the end. I won't go that far, but I want to watch it again. I got the, the high off. I guess because I went in with such low expectation. Be- the hype of everyone else made me lower my expectations for Black Panther. Oh, so yeah. Then, to come into now we're supposed to get into your reasons why like, I hated the hate movie. I don't want to tangent again. To come into a really good movie was like, oh shoot, this is really science serious. Like, I actually feel cool. Like, that handshake. Oh lord, I know shit people hands like that. <laughs> I do the X thing. That, that's a big fan here. Yeah. <laughs> like, be, like, just little things in this movie got me so unnecessarily hyped that I, I, I wasn't sure what was going on. You know on. what's the weird thing? This, <laughs> that, that pause did not originate this movie. It actually came from Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know she was a block? Do you not remember? Oh, she, right, oh, she blocks that all the time. Yeah. I was like, but people are saying, you know, yeah, it's about people like, but I'm pretty sure Wonder did that for a time. She was a thing. Yes, yeah. but it wasn't like a... Right, it was, a, it was a form of greeting. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Which so, is cool. Anyway, Kofi and Mara supposed to get into why they hate the hate wow. from this film. So... Captain America went to Soldier. Yeah. It's complete worldwide is seven hundred thousand and only after two weeks. Seven hundred million, sorry. And only after two weeks of um, Black Panther is seven hundred million as well. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna grow. This movie's gonna hit a, a, a billion in less than a month. Uh, uh, bruh, next week. Yeah. Next Basically. week I'm gonna hit a billion dollars. Basically. Because I'm gonna watch it again probably. Me too. You're gonna spend three hundred million dollars. I didn't spend I didn't spend uh, oh <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'm in pockets. <laughs> um but back to the culture, like I don't appreciate the fact that this is an African movie about a fish. Yes, it's celebrating African culture, yes. Yes, Barbados is predominantly black, yes. However, not a Bayesian hand went into this movie. So it is like is it a cash grab? What what is it? Why are why is the government putting so much support into this? I, I don't understand. Like, it's good to say the government because let's pull up our article. Oh, okay. I think I know why. You know why? Why? Elections. <laughs> Elections? <laughs> no, they because uh, they're, but you know, they're they, giving warehouses. The reason why I um, People got taxes, my... getting the tax returns. Right, first, exactly. God knows you know why? Long. Because the, the department is supposed to get uh, resulting next week or week after. 5th of March. Right there. The only go. reason why Results, I got my sorry. two tickets because my brother um, bought two tickets. And then um, he's a poet. So they bought the government uh-huh. and formally invited him and his wife to Good. watch the Black Panther, which is like... What is this? So this first Bruh. sentence, this first sentence has the two heaps of bullshit. All right, so we want to stop talking about Black Panther and then get into our Loop dis- News Barbados. Well, wait, before you start, you want to stop talking about Black Panther and then get into our discussion about the, the film Racism in Barbados? But it's because of Black Panther that we're talking about it. All right, all right, go on, go on, go on. I still so got to leave, so I want... Hoops, I want the two yeah. heaps of bullshit. Yeah. Read it. The first sentence from Loop News. <clears throat> Despite the PG-13 rating, little children in Barbados will be able to learn from Black Panther indirectly as the, ministry, as the culture ministry ensure that teachers within the... I can't get this word pronounced. It's in the mm. Mabalozi. <laughs> the Mabalozi program gained this knowledge and added it to their toolbox. Wait, before what the? Before y'all start. Uh-huh. Learn what from Black Panther? I don't understand <laughs> what are we learning from Black Panther? I hope they're <laughs> I mean, right, 
<laughs> my, the only thing I learned from Black Panther is this sounds weird and odd coming from my mouth. It teaches me how to love myself more. That sounds weird. Let me rephrase it. As a black, like I appreciate this stuff. The, the fact that I was watching stuff in this movie, and I was like, but it's kind of do that. That's cool. Like, that's me. I on the screen. I don't know if wait, I don't know if people feel like that all the time. But people don't need to feel like that because they see themselves all the time. Right. <laughs> so it's like that was interesting for me. But that's nothing to be learned. That's nothing I have to learn. So the, there are the, other films that you we could have learned about ourselves from. For example, um, Straight Outta Compton has far more and, and I, I cultural validity than that a is Black a very Panther good, movie. I wish I remembered that Cultural title. validity to Barbados how? But did this seriously see this what, as an educational movie? I don't understand uh, how <laughs> they see it as an educational movie, but what I'm <laughs> saying is that, hype that no one knows about. Straight Outta Compton is a real story about black people struggling. Mm-hmm. Black people this struggle. is a fictional movie. About a king. About <laughs> a king. What? Okay, uh-huh. it's fictional. Uh-huh. One. That's. This, I this, forgot, this, I this, forgot this, my point. This is an education movie. I actually, I actually think I may write articles. So, the so. second letter pissed me off. The government of. That truck was brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> 2018. The government of Barbados is fully invested in the development of the nation's African consciousness. And they. Dis- they, they have a, and they demonstrated. Such once again this week by doing what? By supporting Black Panther. Wait, but hold on. As someone who lives in my bedroom and don't let the house and don't watch the news or the really paper or nothing, so does the government actually do anything that that? Yeah. No, 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 they do. Thing? They do. It is does the public enjoy? It? I think. I think, I think the, this the, happened, gov- but no the one government cares. was one of the biggest okay. German forces behind, like you know, tiny schools that you know. Yeah, that was a. The, um, you know what? Also, the a, government Barbados was a big driving force for. The worldwide box office for Marvel. That is what it was a big push for. That's dumb. Thing. All right, I, 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 no. they had to pay. You think they got the movie for free? No, no I mean, I mean, compared to how much they well, paid worldwide, obviously, like a think, compared to Devil's Advocate. No, they said please that allowed. No, they said that allowed about um, yeah, no people. The public don't really support. Funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, they mentioned the public don't really support um, like Pan African affairs in Barbados or like any sort of culture thing. So the general public, not like this, sorry, mm-hmm. not to this extent. I think the government could have been saying, "Well, look, when they get into the movie, let me inject myself into the equation." Mm-hmm. Okay. Because like you. you're here, let me pretend that this is that this is the reason why you're here. What do you mean? I don't understand. As in like, okay, you are going. There is a Black Panther hype. It is coming to Barbados. Everybody talking about it. So yeah. the government is like, all right, let me pretend that. Not pretend. Let me act as if this is a way to learn or something, like support culture. Make it look like we're doing something. If they, to me, to me, to me personally, if they wanted to support this movie for whatever reason, and they wanted to try to see this movie as an educator thing for whatever reason, they could have really said to them, all right, this is what could happen. The day after a premiere, we can do a discount for all the schools and stuff. They can go there in the day. They could watch a movie at discounted price or whatever and buy from there. What? How then can all the schools discount if they don't let anybody under the age of 13 years because they were hit PG 13? Right, but we didn't get to the rating yet. We're talking about the DBH and government, I have been Right. <laughs> 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 all right I, I got to step out, guys, but right. I don't want to leave, but it's been lit. Okay. All right, we're now saying goodbye to Coffee. Bye, Coffee. Bye. Bye. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> right, anyway, right. Bye, Bengi. <laughs> right. But as I was saying, <laughs> if they wanted uh, to do that, they could have easily done. I think they've actually done this before. Like, there was some, I can't remember what movie was, but it's some important movie that they felt the schools should have been able to watch and they allowed, but they didn't allow. Foreign or local? It is probably foreign because we don't have that much local movies that they seem to care about anyway. Except Hush, which schools were doing screenings for that. Well, too. the government wasn't really involved there. That's Marcia. Oh, okay, fair enough. Hey, Marcia. So, but so I, I'm still trying to articulate my frustration. I don't know Keep how going. to articulate it. You want me to but, for you? Just, just, just say but, it as best you can. Let me see. My problem with the Black Panther hype is that black people are celebrating our their our, our quote unquote culture in a very superficial way. So like as you said earlier, mm. or is it you or is it Kofi? I have no idea. That said, all right, you go wear the shiki. You go only wear you go only wear the shiki to go and watch Black Panther. When else do you wear it? For mm. example, right? Um, mm. seeing it as cosplay, really? I would say as cosplay. <laughs> Really? And I think what my personal frustration was that when I saw the government right. putting in money right. 
to rent out two cinemas. Right. To me, I, I can't even say rent out because you got paid for the film right. too. Right. When have they done that for right. Beijing too? To me, the the wearing of the shiki stuff wasn't really a problem because, like I said, anywhere African thing may want to race. That's where African things do. Right. So <laughs> they had a problem. Me, but yeah, to me that was the biggest problem that I saw there. I was like, that's kind of weird. I mean, to pay for two theater. I mean, if you pay for one on opening night, right, if you pay for one, then if you pay for one for like you know important people, or whatever, that's fine. What are we gonna do? You think? But you pay for two theaters to go and do this whole journey thing that we're supporting African culture and blah, blah. Well, what happened to all the local movies that come out every year? What happened to all the local filmmakers who actually want saying? I mean you could do a lot better than that and they had like a full red car well blue carpet blue carpet and isn't the, the ministry of culture because of the ministry of culture in charge of the cultural industries bill and all that it right. does fall under the and, and obviously you would have seen recently that they sent out that press release they made the, an invite for the, right yeah for whatever that's supposed to be was it again the, I, I don't remember what we did again but anyway but yeah that that was to me that was it, it was kind of weird not not dressing up but the whole i thought it, thing. I, I thought that was doing too much honestly i it really thought they way were too much, much and it's very hypocritical and it's a bit sad that they could find it more important to uh promote to, a foreign film to in such in such a big manner because i'm not yeah. going to say they don't support barbadian films right but they don't promote Barbadian films in such not a such visible a manner. Right, not on such a scale. Mm-hmm. Not in such a visible manner at all. Yeah. Well, Elections Canada, so yeah, that's good. I'm wondering if they think they're buying votes by giving people a free movie and some popcorn and a drink. Listen, I keep telling people that the. Like, shouldn't I even be saying this like, on the podcast? We can put up. I keep telling people the only way I give votes is somebody come to my house and give me $200. $200? <laughs> you cheap. Well, that's why here people was getting paid for the last election when it was there about getting people getting about never has getting people money and telling them look come and vote oh, for me. That is cheap. So, that is cheap. But then again, and I saw hit and inflation. I want four hundred. No, 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 you gotta pay my <laughs> rate for about three months. Don't don't tell me two hundred. That is cheap. So it's it's very disappointing. And yes, Ministry mm. of Culture. I'm gonna say it's very very disappointing. And yeah. hopefully this part gets to some major news hole so it will blow up. <laughs> <coughs> probably probably right. Barbados Today might read an article Barbados Today news ah. you can trust I, I find it very interesting though that when people think about the biggest newspapers in Barbados they think about the nation of Barbados Today poor advocate as long as I've been alive I've never really heard the advocate I was like a, advocate like, you know, is a more for to be fair businesses mostly look at advocate because yeah advocate I always has heard very, I always heard advocate advocate has like a, a very business strong thing. like business section yeah. oh I see they should care about business they should care about gossip but that is people's business. The people's business, yes, <laughs> but not actually money. Business. <laughs> yeah, but like I, I liked how extra, like you know, individual people were being for Black Panther. We're doing the dressing up and all that, but then like min- the ministry went a little too far. Yeah, I, I don't mind. The, I well, I I did feel annoyed by the hype, but I don't care because like all right, if I'm not hyped for the movie, other people are. Fair enough. Yeah, let but, people get excited for what they want to get excited about for whatever reason. But it's a day about rearing the shiki and all that. And come on, man, I, I don't know. I will have to. It's very superficial. I, I dress quite sexy for the the movie. Yeah, yes, I, I saw your, your WhatsApp story. <laughs> I have my, my suit, you know, my my scarf and everything. So hey, you have up. a scarf. Yeah, at the shiki scarf. Yeah, and the country cool. that doesn't have snow. Sorry, uh, isn't the isn't the dish, isn't the shiki a particular item of clothing and can the print? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. don't know. The point is, I was very African. You see, I don't know about that part of the culture. We we have a very superficial understanding of the culture. We're just doing it for the look. Of I it. feel. I feel you like you know what we're doing. Like, this is cultural appropriation. Yes, I am cultural <laughs> appropriating my black people. I feel like Barbados is more in tune with its English European culture than exactly. it is African culture. Exactly, and it's cultural appropriation because that is not my culture. But I mean, the they're, they're, they're very obvious. Are not my culture. They're very obvious and visible um, influences from our African heritage. Agrasker is more my culture. Grasker, 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 grasker. Anything else you want to say about this? About that? Yeah. That was my only, my only great with it. I still don't know how to articulate it, but it's very. I think I articulated it fine. To the rating system we go. Yes. No. Go ahead, Romare. I'm going back to that first thing again. Go ahead, Romare. You, you have the floor. Uh, this article. Ahem, ahem, ahem. I wonder if the person this. that wrote this article was being shady when they wrote that. I hope so, but I doubt it's Luke. 
Despite the PG-13 rating, little children in Barbados will be able to learn from Black Panther indirectly, indirectly as the culture ministry ensured that teachers within the Mabulozi program gave this knowledge me neither as the culture ministry ensured that teachers within the Mabulozi program gained this knowledge and added it to their toolbox what knowledge uh, anyhow but the grape is that PG-13 so Barbados has a rating system that goes from G, PG, PG-13, R, and A, which is lifted from the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we don't enforce it the same way that they do. No, we do not. Even though the way the ratings are explained is pretty much the same as how they are explained and presented and described from the MPAA. It is? But I know in my head, the thing is that in in Barbados, okay, for example, um, G and PG, anyone could go and watch them despite of their age, right? The problems start when we get to PG-13. Mm -hmm. In the US, generally, it, let me think, yes. So in the US, PG-13 means that persons under 13 cannot attend a film unless accompanied by an adult hopefully a parent or guardian if hopefully. they don't have parents it's not really that parent. right but our, we have it here written as parental guide is 13 that the board considers that the viewing of the film should be restricted to persons 13 years of age or older and that parental discretion is advice two things here should be restricted not shall be it sounds like a suggestion and two, parental discretion is advised. Okay? Alright, parent. So it should be. But our cinemas say that you cannot bring a child that's under 13 into the cinema. Even if you, their parent or guardian, is there with them. But when I went to watch it at Lime Grove, the, a wo the woman in line in front of me asked the person that was taking the tickets mm -hmm. if they could bring a child under the age of 13. And I didn't catch like the whole exchange and everything they said, but the person that was taking the ticket said that a child that is 12 years old, yes, you can bring a child that's 12, but they have to be with a parent or a guardian and they will be let in. But a child that is 11 or younger, they would have to ask the manager. Okay, so that means then that's that it's the Olympus. <clears throat> you have to ask the manager. But that has been like that for like ever. That a like, very long that, time. That like if you are under the age of 13, even if you're accompanied by an adult, you cannot go in and see the film. Because I remember when I was 12, my aunt took me and my sister to see Undercover Brother. Now, having seen Undercover Brother as an adult, oh I realized that that should have been R and not PG-13. Oh my God, your eyes but, terrible. But <laughs> she took us to see Undercover Brother. And when the, 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 per the cashier gave her the ticket tickets for us with us there with her but then when we got to the door the ticket attendant said that we could not go in and we ended up watching some other movie that i can't remember happy feet your your aunt is terrible <laughs> oh my god and so like yeah I, i'm 26 so that's been going on for 14 years so it's always been that way but my biggest problem is with the, the like how the pg-13 rating is enforced is that Parental discretion as advice means that if the parent gives permission for the child to see it, obviously by the parent being there, it means that the child can go in to see the movie, but that is not how cinemas enforce it. Cinemas say that if you're not 13, I don't care if your mother, your father, your brother used to see it, I, your uncle, your adopted parents bring it to watch it, you can't see it. How do you even prove that they're 13 anyway? Who knows? Carding? I mean, I... <laughs> yeah, I, but Carding have a face. I know. mean, I was going into PG-13 movies before I was 13, because I was older than I was. Aww. And I'm pretty sure my little brother does it. Even though he is 13 now, so he doesn't need to. But, Love like... Love yourself. You brought up a national radio. It's fine. National radio. <laughs> national radio. <laughs> okay. National radio, hair. Eh? It's fine. I um, mean, but, like, me, personally, I feel like Black Panther didn't deserve a PG-13. We didn't share. Well, Martin it does have says shit wants uh -huh. and they do fight but it's not like excessive violence and blood and gore everywhere like this could have been a pg movie but, but it's pg-13 overseas 
as well. Yeah. But the thing is, right? Yes, the ratings are the same, yeah. but they're enforced Force differently. Which and don't it don't make no sense. Do come, not bar somebody else rating system if you're not going to enforce it the same way. So I, I've and I've seen it. Um, I'm going to say twice where visitors had come to what visitors had come to watch Star Wars mm-hmm. PG-13 and they could not get it and they did not understand why because they're accustomed to PG-13 meaning once the child is under 13 with a parent they could come and watch the film but and the, and, and the opposite and I don't understand with the rating system in Barbados is that there's an R and there's an A which are basically the same thing yeah but like as, as it's, it's as it's laid out in the act and in the censorship board pamphlet like they do say for R that R is R contains strong language nudity sexual situations or violence and A is graphic violence strong sexual situations are for frontal nudity does it matter so it's different not really but it's different degrees of nudity and violence but if children can't watch R altogether why haven't it doesn't any? matter it really doesn't matter it does not matter yeah, yeah. unless they're saying that the Barbian public are so infantile that they need to be I mean they banned black swan because two lesbians got it on so so wait wait okay no I don't understand what that means did the board ban it or did the cinema not show it because they would have gotten an A rating well according to the same act which we are gonna link in the description um, is the the board is is responsible for admitting and not admitting a film, so they can ban a film from being shown in in Barbados. It's at the board, not the cinema. What does that say about our society? That seeing two lesbians <laughs> in a movie is is morally objectionable, so this movie can't but show. But seeing it outside is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> but how long ago is Black Swan? Like two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight, and then. Today, because today is February 25th, on the cover of Easy Magazine, we had a lesbian couple, so maybe wrong. Well, the, the idea of a ratings board is that it's supposed to be the barometer of the society. Yeah. So perhaps the board at that time didn't think the society was ready to see two pancakes getting it on. Or it was two or three or however many people, pancakes. you know, from the board view the movie that to give it a rating. We're, pro- we're projecting what? their own moral <laughs> ideals by banning the movie, which I wouldn't put past it because Beijing's are very good. And, and again, the thing is that. Within, with the, on the last page of the pamphlet, it says, "Your responsibility as a citizen of Barbados is to ensure, as far as possible, that children are not allowed to watch movies which contain nudity, violence, or abusive language." Children, damn it, children, people, children. So, why would you ban a film if, first of all, you're saying it children are not supposed to watch it? Anyway, it would have gotten hard or to begin with. What what they can do if they do if they want to change how their thing is, they, they can want to change the whole they, act. They, they can well that because too. how because how the the ratings are described in the pamphlet is lifted word for word well, from the act. They yeah. got to change the but law. if they want to protect the little children, the little babies for the children, for the children, if they want to do that, they can say okay, we're gonna do it how the way the Americans do it. So PG thirteen. You have to be either above 13 or if you be below 13, you have to go for a dog. But, but as soon as you get to R, you cannot see this movie. Oh, you can. Of, you can. No, no, I'm saying change it. Okay. So mm-hmm. do like half it with the American way and you have to do it the Beijing way. So if it's R, you cannot in any circumstance see this movie even if you are with an adult mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. unless you are 18. Right? So if they want to keep the whole protect the children they could do it that way i think the um i think the game rating system of all rating, the game rating system within itself is flawed as well but the game rating system the game rating is system, the best to apply the game rating system is written by the authority that is controlled by the gaming companies so, it's very weird well, for, well so is the mpa the mpa is not a government board it's, it's um it's independent. right but i mean well our rating system is, is it's a statutory controlled. board it's a statutory board it's still I want to be part of that board though. You want some of that free money? Free money, day. Watch movies. Free money. So, but I think the um the MP the ESRB rating system is much better. The ESRB has three: E for everyone, T for teens, and for mature. They got uh, well. I'm and sure they got, I'm and sure they got AO one, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And have AO, which is adult only. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think what we need to do first of all is just change the name of our system 
so that we clearly understand what it means. No, but the, the problem is they're not going to change it, well, in the way how we want them to change it, mm. because Barbados is a tourist destination. A tourist can have, they will watch movies here. But it's and not the way, 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 same. Way, right, way, but way, that's way, probably no, the that's what I'm for saying. why they borrowed the MPAs. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I'm right. saying they're not going to change it the way how I said to change it. What I was just do is just do it exactly the way Americans do it. Leave yeah. major parents to do what we want to do with each other. It's happened. The, and the we fall. literal, <laughs> do. The literal law says parental discretion. Who the fuck are you to tell me as a parent that I can't carry my child's Because, watch right, you have 12 babies and you can't find out the fathers, right? Well, well. But <laughs> <well. laughs> well, that's not true. That's not true about quarter. No, no, that's no. being over. Don't, don't get worried. Well, honest. we, well, uh, we didn't get there. I didn't get there. But, but, I I mean, at, the, but at the end of the day, it says parental discretion is at the parent so to really decide whether or not it is a suitable film that for their child to see. Because not every child because of how because of like what their home life is like in terms of what their parents let them do at home while they watch at home and like the kind of freedoms their parents give them etc etc aren't at the same level of maturity as other children so if this parent believes their child is mature enough to watch black panther because only one time in the film someone said shit and they beat up each other and there's no blood or gore or anything then just let the parent decide like that's one thing about these movies it's like how are you taking all oh, those blows and like nothing like he got stopped in his chest and then the, the little small red dot i was like <laughs> okay but anyway but i mean it, the, the yeah. legislation says it's at the parents you have to I don't know if, this by the way from the actual review now you can keep them together ready oh yeah. my god because okay, i mean i don't know i don't know if it's that the cinemas enforce it that way or if it's the board that tells cinemas to enforce it that way, but I would think that it is the board that tells cinemas to enforce it that way because in the same censorship board pamphlet, it says that they can make unscheduled, cinema, unscheduled visits to cinemas to ensure that the rules are being enforced. So I would think that cinemas would enforce it so that when an unscheduled visit happens, the board don't like, I, you know, sanction them or whatever it is. I think the only way to make this law more clear is that if we challenged it in court, because the rating system doesn't, the way it is enforced doesn't match what the legislation says. says. But I can't afford the, the lawyer. Come and show. You can break that was it. Tell Come and show. You gonna do? Oh my. But and and then and then another thing too. The same Ministry of Culture, which is the government body, wants to did, wanted to do this whole extra super extra thing at Olympus Theaters by booking out two cinemas but and celebrating it. Yada yada yada. yada. Yeah, I would have joined in Langrove to be fair. But Langrove is probably more money. But that your point. But then, then want to stress how it's like culturally important and it's so important for children to learn lessons from this movie. And then they got a whole rating system. Sorry, well, not rating system, an enforcement of their rating system that doesn't allow children to see there, film in the a, first so place. So there's a disconnect between the two messages of of for this well this movie in particular. There's a disconnect between two messages. So you're saying that there's useful information that children can learn secondhand. But you're not allowing children to see it in the first place. Right, right. Because you're not going to allow children because to see it. Because the, the bigger place. thing is the, Bullshit. the rating system is convoluted. The people don't understand it. Because it's not convoluted. Most, it people who watch movies, most people who watch movies understand the American system. Wait, you know what? Uh, what? what, what? I just remembered. What? Olympus actually has what? on the box office yeah, windows yeah, they're, yeah, they're uh, a, 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 thing a sheet that shows, stuck up that yeah. shows the ratings and, and what they mean and how they are forced. I'm wondering if it contradicts what is in the app. No, it's, it doesn't, but it's bigger than in the app. It's no, sharper. no, I mean like how they were, like if it's worth from the app or if like how, how they interpret it contradicts what the app actually says. Um, no, they have, they usually have another sign that saying, I don't think it says it's illegal, but essentially they have a sign saying that you're not supposed to buy tickets for children that the rating doesn't match for. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember the exact word. No, but they have like a sheet of paper stuck up on on the boss office and those that says G is this, PG is this, yada 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 yada. But I mean, it it just it just all I'm, it's frustrating and it's stupid. Well, all I'm saying, well, okay, I guess the way I'm gonna summarize my great with the, the Barbados rating system is that it adopts the language of a rating system but doesn't enforce it in the same way, it which doesn't. is very confusing. 
and to me, if you want to, like, if Florissa, as if you're not 13 years old, you cannot see this movie, then don't have parental guidance in the title. Just make it 13 plus or something. So basically, R13. So we have R13 instead. Restricted 13, yes. yes. Yeah. That would make more sense. R13, R18. So Come up with your own, own G- rating system instead of transposing one from a foreign country and then doing whatever the hell you want. No, another thing is that some time ago, I remember CBC showing R-rated movies. Did they? Yeah. I don't remember. It used to be at night, but they used to show R-rated <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, actually, late, 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 late at night, yeah. I think, I, I, I think I've been told recently, I can't remember who said this, that they don't even show G-rated movies until late at night. No, yeah. at least no. Yeah, they don't. What do you mean? But they don't show even G-rated movie. Movie, movie. They because don't show for movie for stuff. Of course, they pop the children. Down. Um, the children. Think about the, the children. children. Yeah. Okay. That's all we got to say with this girl. I don't think I articulated very well, but that, you did. That, that, yeah, I, yeah. I think our, our conversation in the You're gonna group have to chat split this, was more you gotta split this. was more um, wow. articulate because I could I could write it very well, but I can't speak very well. Mm. But like Amelia said in the group chat, like maybe hey she 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 um allowed for like the the language of it doesn't necessarily stop cinemas from enforcing it that way and maybe yeah. Cinemas. But again, if I know that I could make money by thirteen euros, come on and watch Deadpool, wouldn't I? But th- that's the problem they have with their film in the first place. They wanted to make it, not they wanted to as in they were pushing to, but they were thinking the about audiences. right. They were thinking about making it uh, PG thirteen because they wanted the money. But then obviously Rarells won the argument by saying, and it still made all the money. Right, but they would have made even more money. You think so? Yeah. I don't think. I think another appeal of Deadpool. Kids, I think another appeal stuff. of Deadpool was that. I know they ain't got the teeny bobbers. Yeah, but and kids movie. love Deadpool. And kids would have watched it. So a lot of kids actually dressed up as Deadpool for like Halloween and stuff. But yeah. fair enough. What I'm saying is that the appeal of it is that... See, because their parents sent them watch it at home. On but Blu-ray. I, but our DVD. But our digital release. Again, our piracy. Again, 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 again. Perfect. R does person. not mean children cannot come to the cinema. That is true. R means that you could, you have to come with, with a parent. I, but I think, I think there's some... I think there's some theaters that enforce it differently, though. Some. Not all. So I'm wondering now if the enforcement is at the theater. Maybe. But it raises the question of why the people from the the, the board need to come and inspect then. Yeah, because as far as I know, the the mm. yeah, what what you need to come? Exactly, because if unless it's rated A. Or then, you know, that's like freaky people like this. So. If in, in fact the language of A suggests that a parent can still carry their child to it, because an A rating. Is that it says adult only duh, but it says the board considers that viewing of the film should be restricted to Again, persons is should implies a suggestion. But sounds, suggestion to, to me the way how that is written to me to me that how that is written more for the theater rather than the the audience. But the audience still needs to understand should. what the ratings mean. That's not they're talking to the people in charge of the theater. So, yeah. But the audience still needs to know what the ratings mean. But anyway, that's and all, another thing that's well, important yeah. to note is that the, the rating system is specifically for public screenings. You have, when given this rating, you must also take into consideration that it's going to be screened at home. It says that in the, in the app, but it is written for public screenings. But I just suggest that we, we change the wording of our, of our um, thing. Or, yeah. or I could just get by mine and raise a 13 year old child. I'm carrying to well, twelve year old child carrying to the cinema, and anybody want to give me a talk and say, "All right, I got commission, we can court." Yeah, <laughs> that. But well, then, what do you have to sue the government as well? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, fair enough. And they what? give me money for for distress. <laughs> Emotional distress, yeah. because this ever so culturally important film, your child is not allowed to, to see to watch first hand. You gotta get yeah. second hand accounts. Anybody ever play telephone? Huh. <laughs> It always annoyed me how our film ratings were based on the MPAA rating system and they were enforced like a completely different way. Yeah. It's annoying, it's frustrating, it's stupid, like it's damn. Stupid. Yeah. Why are you so stupid? stupid? It's bullshit. This has been the Pop Down Podcast. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this.